Welcome back guys and thanks for checking out today's video. I have a car in the shop that I've been wanting to share with you guys for a while. Some of you may have seen this car in a previous video when it was here getting a little bit of work done, getting ready because we had some issues with it. But I'm, I'm happy to say that we've finally been able to tune it and I'm finally able to do a video and share with you guys the results and how everything turned out. For those of you that don't know, this is kind of a special car. It is a Canadian only model. It is a 2008 Acura CSX Type S. Basically, it's a Honda Civic Si, um, but in Canada, we got an Acura version of this Civic Si, and it is the CSX Type S. And what they did was they had special headlights, um, a leather interior that was kind of nice. Uh, they came with factory nav and stuff like that, um, and then different taillights as well. Uh, the owner has done a few things to it. He's put a Mugen lip kit on it and a Civic Type R side skirts and obviously wheels and upgraded the brakes to Brembo on the front. But what makes this car very special is that he has also done a custom turbo setup and semi-built the engine. Um, so I'm gonna share with you the setup, the engine setup at least. I've already actually tuned the car uh, because this video has been a long time in the making. We had all kinds of fuel problems. I'm gonna share that with you in a bit. Engine wise, this is his original K20 Z3 engine that it came with, uh, but he has taken it apart and built it to make, to make it stronger for the turbo setup. Uh, it has a set of pistons and rods. It has Weisco pistons, Eagle rods. He did do the oil pump at the same time, so he put a four piston oil pump in it, and it has Supertech valve train in it. Uh, he has given me the full list of the, on the build, but uh, what I'll do is I'll put that in the description so you guys can check it out. The car is owned by my friend Lucas, who owns Nafab. If you've seen my Instagram or caught it in any of my previous videos, Lucas is my welder friend who does a lot of welding for me. So he actually created this turbo kit himself. Uh, he went with a Garrett G25 770 turbo and then built the kit around that sort of. It's an equal length turbo manifold that he did, but uh, it's all wrapped up and tucked back there. So there's not much to see, unfortunately, but uh, trust me, he did a great job. And basically he has done all the work on this car himself. He uh, did all the charge piping, in, mounted the intercooler, did the install, basically everything. He also has converted this car to a return style fuel system. Ironically, he did not want any fuel issues and these cars are known for fuel issues when, uh, when you try to boost them um, because they have a returnless style fuel system. So he did upgrade the fuel system to a return style and ran a, a return line and all that stuff, installed an upgraded pump and installed a relay and everything, did it all properly. But we were still running into fuel starvation problems once we got into VTEC and higher load. We were running out of fuel pressure and it was super weird. The car has an AEM 340 pump in it. It has a big fuel line, it has a Dash 8 fuel line and we couldn't figure out what, what was going on with the fuel system. It was, it was losing fuel pressure as we were getting higher and higher in the RPM range which made no sense. The whole reason you upgrade the fuel system on these setups to avoid situations like that. What we ended up finding out, there was actually two problems with the setup. We ended up having to go into the fuel sending unit. If any of you have seen these fuel sending units, they kind of compress when you put them in. And what was happening is the line that was from the pump to the sending unit was getting pinched when it was getting compressed. And that was causing restriction. And that was part of our problem. So we resolved that issue and we had great fuel pressure, but then, when the car got to about half a tank of gas, it would start losing fuel pressure again. And we found that for whatever reason, the fuel sending unit that contains the fuel pump wasn't allowing enough fuel into its container when it was at about half a tank or lower in fuel. So we filled it up, that solved that problem. So he's gonna look into this, but I know that's a long story, but basically we finally sorted out the fuel issues and today we were able to tune the car. It's already all tuned. We ran 15 pounds of boost. So I'll cut to a couple shots of the dyno poles and then I'll share the results with you.
All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed those dyno pulls. So all said and done, we ended up running, like I said, 15 pounds of boost. Uh, there was no boost controller, so I, I couldn't unfortunately do anything with the boost today. All said and done, we ended up making 486 horsepower and 352 foot-pounds torque. It's a, it is unfortunate that there was no boost controller because it would have been nice to control boost a little bit better than just the wastegate was controlling it because what we actually were seeing is a little bit more boost here, close, almost closer to 16 PSI, and then it was tapering 15, almost 14 near red line, which is why we see tapering off a little bit near red line. If I had been able to control boost, I would have been able to flatten this out even more, and we probably would have gone into the 500 horsepower range, but whatever, it is what it is. He's super happy with the results. Um, I know you guys like to know what I've put into these tunes. So VTC wise, down low was about 30 degrees VTC, quickly ramped up to 40 degrees VTC, and then tapered to 25 at red line. Um, VTEC was at 4,000, which helped spool the turbo a bunch. The turbo, this turbo spooled fairly quickly for a K20. It had basically full boost by about 4,700 RPM. That's why we see the torque peak where it is. But uh, yeah, all said and done, finally got this one done. It was a long time in the makings. It's been here a bunch. It's been here three times trying to sort out this fuel issue and we finally sorted it out today. So I'm glad we were able to finally get it done and get it tuned so Lucas can enjoy the car for the summer. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.